Salutations, boys and girls, Professor Inkwell here, and welcome back to my drawing room, the sanctuary for your imagination. Now get ready to hate Mondays and stuff your face full of lasagna, because today I'm going to be teaching you how to draw Garfield the Cat. And if you want to follow along, all you need is a writing utensil, a piece of paper, and something to color with. Now let's get started. Well, everyone, before we get drawing today, make sure your paper is vertical instead of horizontal, because we're going to be drawing Garfield's entire body today. Today I'm going to be drawing Garfield using a sharpie, but once again, boys and girls, you can use a pencil, a marker, whatever you'd like. And always be sure you have a couple of pieces of paper underneath the paper you're drawing on so the ink doesn't get onto the table. Now Garfield is one of my favorite cartoon characters of all time. He's sarcastic, he's lazy, he loves to eat, he is so relatable. Now I'm going to give you a little tip on keeping Garfield proportionate onto your paper. If you look, Garfield is split up into three separate circles. Now these are all roughly the same size of a circle. It kind of looks like a snowman. This will be the top of his head, this will be where his tummy is going to be, and this is where the bottom of his feet are going to be. Now if you want, you can use a black marker and draw three separate circles that are roughly the same size on a separate sheet of paper and put it underneath the paper that you're going to be drawing Garfield on. That way it works as a guide to keeping Garfield proportionate on the paper that you're drawing on. I don't know if you can see this, but this top circle is going to represent Garfield's head. This is right where his chin is going to meet his tummy. This middle circle is going to represent where his tummy and his posterior is going to be. And this bottom circle is going to represent where his legs and feet are going to lie. Now, step number one in drawing Garfield is we're going to be drawing his eyes. Now, his eyes are two very large ovals, and the first oval, the top of it, is going to touch the top of this circle here, and the bottom of the oval is going to be right about here. So let's go ahead and draw his first eye. Starting at the top of this circle here, we're just going to draw an oval that's kind of tilted to the right-hand side a little bit. So that's going to be his right eye. Now before we draw his left eye, let's go ahead and draw his nose. His nose is very simple. It's just a simple oval right at the bottom of this circle right here. Just like that. Now his left eye is going to be resting a little bit behind his right eye, so we're not going to draw the entire oval. So let's start right about here and just bring that second oval down right to the top of his nose right there. Now, if you don't know already, Garfield is a very lazy character. He's mostly resting his eyes unless he's surprised or excited to see a giant plate of lasagna or pizza or if he's scared of a giant spider or something. But today, we're going to give him very lazy eyes, and that's very simple. So right more than halfway down, we're just going to draw a straight line. Those are going to be his eyelids. He's very relaxed right now. And right underneath here, we're going to draw two half circles. But if you want, you don't have to draw his eye pupils. You can just keep one straight line to make it look like his eyes are closed. Let's go ahead and draw his mouth. Now to draw his mouth, it's just an upside down V right underneath his nose. Now I'm gonna draw Garfield smiling, but you can actually leave it like this if you want. He looks kind of grumpy right now, or he looks very tired. But if you wanna draw him smiling, you can go ahead and draw a line from here at the bottom of this V and just make a curved circle like that. And go ahead and draw the letter U at the end represent a little fold in his cheek. And we'll do the same thing on this side. It's just going to be a smaller letter U and we'll connect it to the end of the V like that. And draw another letter U to represent the fold in his cheek. Let's go ahead and draw an upside down U right here, touching his eye, meeting at the bottom of that letter U we draw on the fold of his cheek. These are his cheeks. We'll do it on both sides. We'll touch his eye and wrap around like this. It's starting to look like Garfield a little bit, but let's go ahead and draw his ears. Now to draw his ears, it's a simple upside down letter U. We're going to start right here on his right eye, and we'll draw a line touching the top of that circle we drew on that other piece of paper, like this. And we'll go ahead and do the same thing on the other side. Perfect. Let's go ahead and finish drawing his ears by taking the top of that upside down U we made. And we'll just make a curved line right there, stopping where we drew that other letter U. And we'll do the same thing on this side, but we'll make sure that it stops right there on his right ear like that. Now, I don't know if you can see this, but you can kind of see part of the circle that we drew on that other piece of paper. This is going to help us where his head is going to stop. It's going to stop at the bottom of that circle right there. So, touching his eye and his ear, Let's go ahead and draw 
not quite a perfect circle, but a droopy line like that. And we'll do the same thing on this side. We're just going to draw a very droopy curved line, almost like a water balloon. like that. Let's add some quick features to his face before we move on to the rest of his body. He's got little whisker dots on his cheeks. Those are just three dots like that. And he has a pattern on his fur. Those are just a few lines at the top of his ears like that. And he's got these zigzag patterns. These are really fun to draw. It's literally just like a little lightning bolt or squiggly line. These are very fun. A lot of tabby cats have these patterns. And he's got very interesting whiskers. They go at the top of his head. And those are just three droopy lines. They're not quite straight. They're drooping a little bit to represent gravity pulling down his whiskers. Same thing with his head. And I almost forgot to connect the bottom of his ear with his eye. That's just another upside down U like that. Jim Davis is very particular about the model of Garfield. Now before we draw his tummy, let's go ahead and draw a diagonal line right at the bottom of his mouth. That's just going to show that his head is connecting with his neck and his tummy. Now for his tummy, we're not going to completely trace this circle right here. This is just acting as a guide of where we're going to place it. So the bottom of his tummy is going to rest right here. And we're almost going to draw, almost like we're drawing a teardrop. So go ahead and draw a line like that. And we'll draw his back shoulder, which is just a curved line like that. And trace the back like that. Now before we draw his arms, let's go ahead and draw his legs. At the bottom of this line we drew here, we're just going to draw one straight line like that. And another straight line like that. Those are going to be his legs. And we'll connect the bottom of his tummy to his leg like that. And then we'll draw one more line right there. Those are going to be his legs. Now Garfield's feet are not like normal kitty cat paws. They're very large. They're very cartoony. They're very wacky. It adds the character weight. So to draw his feet, we're going to draw a little fold like that. And then we're going to draw a very big line from here all the way to right about here. If you want to make a little mark like that. And then we'll keep drawing and stop right there. That's going to be his first toe. And we'll draw another curved line like that. It's in front of that one. And then we're going to draw one more right in front of that one. And then we're going to draw his heel right there. That's just a backward C like that. And then we'll just connect these two with a slightly curved line like that. We'll do the same thing on his other foot. Now it's resting behind his foot right here, so we're not going to draw all of it. That's just a quick curved line like that. And if we draw his tail, that's just another straight line going down like that, almost like the ones we drew for his legs. We'll draw a little fold right there. And we're just going to draw a really elongated letter C. There's his tail. Now Garfield doesn't have any arms yet, and he needs those arms to use the remote control to watch TV and, of course, eat all the food he does. So for his arm, right about here, right down right underneath his right eye. We're going to draw one straight line like that and another straight line like that. So it's just the number 11 right there. Now for his paw, it's just a curved line like this. We're going to drop two other fingers that are going to be going in front. And then for the back of his paw, it's just a backward C like that. Now you can make him doing a thumbs up, you can make him waving, you can make his hand on his hip, whatever you want to do, but I'm going to make Garfield waving. So right about here, I'm just going to draw a curved line like that. And right underneath, I'll draw the exact same line, 
It's going to be his right arm. Let's go ahead and draw his hand. I'm going to start with his thumb. His thumb is just an oval, but we're not going to finish drawing the oval. That's his thumb. Draw an oval, but don't finish drawing it. And then we'll draw his finger. It's almost like a jelly bean or a noodle, a very thick noodle. And we'll do that two more times. One, two, and we'll draw the round part of his palm right here. And that is just the letter U. And you can go forward a little bit like that. Now let's add some motion lines to represent that he's waving. Cartoonists use lines like this all the time. These just represent motion that he's waving at us like that. Now there's a couple more features we need to add before we color him in. We need to add more of these zigzaggy lines on his back. So you can have fun with that. I love doing these. These are so fun. And he's got the same pattern on his tail. Now he's got these interesting lines at the edge of his tail. Just draw lines, straight lines at the tip, like that. We can add a little shadow underneath this leg right here just to add some depth. And we can always add some black lines underneath his feet to represent shadow. So it looks like he's standing on the ground. And what I'm doing right here is I'm just pretty much tracing the outline of the bottom of his foot the tail and filling it in. So it looks like he's standing on the ground. Now, once you've gotten to this point, you can go ahead and take away the guide that we made earlier, get rid of that, and now, and now it's time to color him in. Today, I'm going to be using just a few colors. I'm going to be using orange for his fur, yellow for his muzzle, pink for his nose, and some red just to add some darker shadows to create some more depth. And like always, I'm going to speed this part of the video up, so feel free to pause the video at any time and use it as a reference. Well, boys and girls, there you have it. I used orange to color in all of his fur, and that's the main color you're going to be using. Then I used yellow for his little muzzle on his face right here, and just a little pink for his nose right there. And then, of course, I used some red to add some shadows underneath his ears, and around the side of his head, underneath his tail, and his leg, his arm over here, just to add a little bit of depth. But you can add whatever you want. You can draw him sleepy, you can draw him happy, you can draw him sad. You can even draw him eating a big pan of lasagna. Mmm, that looks good. Garfield loves lasagna. And then you can draw John saying, oh no, hey Garfield, that's for everyone. Make sure you share. And then Garfield will say, no, I eat John. It's what I do. I'm gonna eat the entire pan of lasagna. And John's gonna go, no Garfield, you're on a diet. You gotta make sure you only have a little bit. And then Garfield will say, well, if I can't have the lasagna that I'm gonna kick Odie off the table like I always do. And then John's gonna go, oh, don't do it oh, Garfield. Please that's make it stop. Dog, Odie. <clears throat> Anyways, so the most important part of your drawing is your signature. So go ahead and take a pen like this. Well, congratulations, boys and girls. You have just successfully drawn Garfield the Cat. Now, if you're saying to yourself, Professor, I don't like the way mine turned out. Well, don't worry, boys and girls. The secret is to keep practicing and to have fun while you're doing it. Whew. Well, boys and girls, that tutorial really took it out of me today. So I think I fancy myself a cat nap and then maybe kick Odie off the kitchen table. But until then, I hope you'll enjoy me next week for another art tutorial. Now go out there and have an adventure. See you later. And don't forget, kiddies, if you enjoyed today's video, be sure to click that like button, leave a comment below, and subscribe to Professor Inkwell's YouTube channel. And ring the bell so you don't miss out on any new swanky content. That'd be swell.